Namaste and welcome to the sixth episode of FCNCC Presents CEO and Executive Series. We are currently live from CanadaCover.com. And for our guest today, let's welcome Dr. Narayan Kimire, food and drug scientist from Canada. He is CEO of SDI Toronto and technical director of Flavor Can International Inc. Uh, he's interested in healing foods, disruptive innovation, Bed and began and has worked in food and drug science for over 25 years. He has been changing people's diet towards a healthier one that may in fact prevent illness. In 1994, Narayan earned a degree in food technology from Thiruvan University and later he completed his postgraduate work in quality assurance and pharmaceutical science in Toronto, Canada. He is the first Canadian origin with Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt qualification from Villanova University. Welcome to the CEO and Executive, Dr. Nayan Kimide. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Um, first of all, um, <clears throat> on behalf of the whole FCNCC team, I would like to congratulate you on completing your PhD recently. Thank you so much. Yeah. We are very proud. And as an Apache community, because you're also the first in Lean Six Sigma, we are very <clears throat> happy to know about it. Um, so I would like to begin asking on how you would like to introduce yourself as a food and drug scientist. Mm. Let me put it this way. Uh, first of all, thank you for your time and opportunity. Mm. When I did my food science, um, then I immigrated to Canada. And when we immigrated to Canada, we didn't find any job, even in Tibota. And I realized that I should have some Canadian degree. Then I joined for the pharmaceutical science. Once I completed the pharmaceutical science, and then after I got the opportunity to work with the Ministry of Environment. And while working in the Ministry of Environment, I was, uh, I'm not that much happy with the government job and I decided to join the private sector. And once I joined the private sector, then I have the opportunity to deal with a lot of the stakeholder and uh, including the government authorities and a lot of the scientists. And then that make me know that uh, uh, there's something beyond the food food, medicine, and speciality, and then your healing power. And then after once I started work on that, then uh, before I come in, I came here, I thought I'm the scientist. And now I start, I realized that i am become the student and our life is a forever student. And that is why from that perspective until today, I'm the student. And while I'm, uh, the thing is that uh, life is your test every day. You have to pass your test in the real life. And the student is just a mock, mock study. And while I'm doing my job and I have always a new challenge and then I have to find out that challenge. And to solve those challenge, I thought, why not if we are reading something and uh, solving the challenge every day, then just put it in the benchmark with the so-called universities and then just get the, some degree. And, and that are the result of the my quantum physics and then after quantum metaphysics and then the healing food in the other way uh, that I got the PhD. Mm, actually, I did the PhD not because I want the PhD, I did the PhD because I want to solve a lot of the scientific and advanced issue in my field in Canada that is mostly the university related. And then if I, you see all this perspective, I'm just the science and seeker of the innovation and seeker of the innovation beyond the science that is the beyond the ability of the science. And uh, it might be the question, what is the beyond the ability of science? That is the beyond the ability of science is there is your willpower, there is your thinking power and your consciousness. And then that matter for your health. And what you are doing food and medicine also, same for the health and for your well-being. Mm -hmm. And as a, that is why I introduced myself as the one seeker who can look the advanced knowledge of the advanced science and the knowledge of spirituality, spirituality together to make the people life easy. First of all, my life happy and easy, and then bring that technology to the world to make the whole life easy. Mm -hmm. That I like to introduce myself as a student of this field and novice student, just a learning age. Yeah, great. And uh, you started as a student, but now um, you're a CEO of SDI Toronto. You work at, you also work as a food technologist there. 
So what is your role in STI Toronto? Because I know you help transfer uh, technology to Nepal in other countries. So how would you like to elaborate on your work there? Mm -hmm. To better understand your question and to share to your audience, um, actually I work for the Flower Can International that is uh, one of the largest flavor house, representing Canada and the largest flavor house of Canada. And here we work uh, mostly the, um, uh, to help the, all the industries across the globe. And we have the one hundred footprint in the 150 country. And most of what happened is how big you are, any industry, how big you are, uh, how well placed you are, how well managed you are. Your challenge is end of the day, your, uh, you have the judge and your judge is your customer. And because of the, if you see the last couple of, uh, just the half decade, due to the, uh, due to the uh, strong percentage of the social media, what it happened to the world, then the people know right away. And a lot of good thing coming, a lot of bad thing coming, then that had looked at the um, world that what is good, what is bad, and that changes the market demand. Then what all realize, especially what America, America means Canada, America and Mexico, as we are working in this territory very heavily, what we have realized is that how big and solid footprint we are, our product is no more value add if we cannot add the changing market demand. And that brings us the very, very big company who is dealing with the, like the, the average the multi billion dollar in the market. And you see in all around in the grocery and everywhere their product is, what they are getting is they are not getting the address their customer based on their changing scientific know-how and the scientific changing market need. And then these guys are very strongly dumped to bring their, to develop, to develop their product and bring to market and then the, take the money back from the market, then again manage production and then again go back to the market. But there's one, one puzzle is missing. What happened is whenever the something, when you do the some industry and when you do some research and development, very simple, simple thing that you can fix. Industry can fix with their re regular R&D wing, research and development wing. But what if something that is a very, very complex, for example, in the Corona period, whenever the people realize that all of the sudden the, the way we eat, the way we deal, the way we handle is no more enough to simple fighting with the simple bug, the simple virus like the COVID. Then at the same time, we noticed that very simple thing is spice, is very simple thing, the lemon, lemon juice, very simple thing like the turmeric. Those are the ingredients that can really help it to come back, even though it is not the medicinal, but to come back at least the, to build the immune power. Mm -hmm. Then the industry realized that all of the sudden, when you see their ingredient, this is missing of those uh, immune power building capability, even though they can have it, but they cannot make it overnight. And then, then the world realized that what happened, there is, this, there is a separate incubation center, separate idea knowledge, um, idea knowledge uh, incubation center and separate co-creation center that can do the advanced research and development so that they can fix and they can build some ingredient that can be their raw material so that they can be the innovative at their end. Their role is there. And good luckily, we were the company exactly doing the same thing. We do the custom design flavor ingredient. We, we develop the custom design uh, micro ingredient. We, we bring the, all the herb and the extract and then bring them into the food. And we are not adding, we are not doing that. We are even doing the adding the self life in the product and we are adding the healing property into the food. Mm -hmm. Then what happened is that all the scenario bring our business into the very, very big scope and then help us to grow, not only grow, to become the successful. Uh, here, I would like to tell you the difference between the growth and the successful. The, the difference between the growth and successful is if you have, if you are today $1, if you tomorrow the $3, then you, you, this is your growth. But, and, but if you have the growth and if you have the ethical part in it, then it is your progress. But if you in the ethical, you have the humanity part integrated, then it is, we call the really successful. We are not only the growth, we are not only the progress, we become the successful because we are right fit in that matrices. That is why actually the, I'm the guy who works with my president, board of director, mm -hmm. to make sure that our people and our kids understand exactly the demand of the industries and multinational industry who, who is bringing the innovation into the market. They have understand their specification correctly. 
I am also the I also involved that okay they if one group understand the correctly they exactly translate the what the need of the individual industry into the, our um, uh, quality by design or research and development team and again I will the guy will make sure that our, our research and development make sure that they are doing exactly what customer asks and to comply with the applicable standard not only applicable standard the additional value add and then the, our commitment what we supposed to do and then after we develop the product and we went to the industry back and we work with them and we work in their innovative product and we make sure if this works if it doesn't work then we come back then again we, we we adjust or the rule, redevelop new thing, and then make the, our customer successful. You know what? Uh, one time I have I, I was listening to the Bill Gates, and we have asked him that what do you want from us, and he has told us, I don't want something anything from you. You just take care of my customer. My customer take care of me. Then I can take care of you. Exactly that that philosophy. I am the person who involved that philosophy here, and then working with the board of director and the, my my. From the corporate chairperson, and what we make sense is that we make sense what the industry want. We make sense what is the changing market demand, and why the my customer is in my desk, because they are the super superstar always. You know that they the, all the football coach who always get the always get the um, uh, one in the, always win the gold medal, and then ball is still the like the for example uh, Ronaldo or something. I don't know the like the why that they always need the coach. You know what I mean? Even though they are the best in the player and all the food industries they are the best in the player, but still they need the coach, they need the R&D innovator around them, good, good, you know, very good brand around them so that they can keep their business on and on. That is the role of the, my company. And I was one of the, I, I was lucky enough that I could lead that uh, innovation lead with the, and then to help my board of director and the, my president. And that is what I'm doing. And um, so far as I, I'm working in this, in uh, since I immigrated to Canada, I spent a couple of years in the Ministry of the um, Environment, and then I didn't like that job, boring job, and I joined here, maybe yeah. 11 to 12 years. What I realized is, you know what, what I am doing here, it is the great and great need of the Nepal too, and the Asian country too, Indonesia, Malaysia, and the India too. And then I started to my um, uh, knowledge and technology uh, transfer, um, knowledge technology skill transfer um, uh, one unit. And then that is just for the part time and then helping the people over there to make the disruptive innovation happen. And that is how the SDI Toronto in my 100% investment came you know, across the board. And then so far, um, so far what, um, uh, what we are doing there is, um, you know that every country has their own traditional uh, traditional um, uh, technology, traditional knowledge, and the traditional um, and they have own resources. Every country has their own typicality. And then what we started doing that we figure out what is their strong resources, is what their strong um, uh, traditional knowledge is, what they are good at. And then we work them to make sure their knowledge, their resources, and they can supply their market by their own development. But on but one thing is true that only tradition doesn't work. And we have to, unless these people can fuse their traditional knowledge, traditional requirement and the market need with the advanced knowledge of the science in their perspective, they cannot be succeeded. Then here we are playing the role that to understand their traditional uh, technique, traditional knowledge, traditional know-how, and then their, their current market need to the ad advanced science and fuse all of them and to make them the disturbance so that they can be survived in their a footpath basing on their economy. Not the like a lot of people, if you see, oh, you know what, I want to make something, I want to export, no, to replace their current fortunes. That is how the STI Toronto come on the on the floor and maybe a couple of five and six years, like maybe seven or eight years, we are behind the scene, but it's still active. Yes, and that's great. And um, you also mentioned that you uh, work as a technical director of Flavor Can. So how have you been uh, helping the Canadian industry as a whole? Uh, actually, the what I told you, the Canadian industry, Canadian industry, is, if you see that a lot of the manufacturing industry, like, for example, I will tell you one example. Mm, if you see the Bombardier, it looked like very big airplane company, right? But actually, Bombardier is just the SML plant. Mm -hmm. there, um, if you see there, there um, all the all the metal and all the body come from some, some people make for them. Some people make for their will. Some people make for their um, uh, their greed. Some people make for their, um, their every, every part. Yeah. Whatever the maybe if there's this lit assume I'm not very good about the, that sector. I, I took the wrong uh, I was the um, I did the mistake that I took the wrong uh, wrong uh, 
example, but still, let's see the stick on that, just to the making the fear to your audience time. Let's assume that they have uh, around 3,000 part. All the 3,000 part is highly innovative. That is why Bombardier can be the innovative. That is all their 3,000 supplier should be the, should provide them the innovative part so that when they assemble that their product match with the very highly innovative. Exactly what we do is if you see there all the food industry, cosmetic industry, all of the food that make the animal feed, all, all of the industry that did the natural health product, all the medicinal company, medicine, and all of them is the food additive company, color, flavor, taste, you name it. What happened is to be them to be the successful and innovative, to meet the changing market need, they need the ingredient that they need. For example, uh, for example, all of the Canadian, they want to be the, all of the sudden to the vegan. But they want to be the vegan, but at the same time, they don't want to the compromise the taste their mommy is feeding them. The mommy is feeding them. Sorry, my, I'm not the English speaker. That's why, sorry, you have to bear with my Nepalese accent. I always love to say that. Um, for example, they want to be the vegan, but they don't want to compromise the taste that they have been from their birth. Their mom has tasted them. Then all of a sudden, we, we came into the picture, you know what? We, you can have the vegetarian vegan option that but still you can have the exactly the chicken you can taste the chicken you can taste like the mutton but still you can be the vegan and then we give the plant-based option and exactly the, like there are so many uh, uh, people they still want to be the, eat the pizza cheese pizza but still the vegan cheese pizza then we are we came across and we we figure out we provide the ingredient all the plant based so that you can have the milk plant based cheese plant based and all the ingredient plant based so that still you can be the vegan without the any meat or the milk derivative or the any animal derivative we need and you know what like the sum of the time what happened is we have the very very big research that you know that if you see the journey to the mars and the moon and the, even the that is the people is planning and then the like the how to get the big land in the other, other, other station other than the earth. It's still, we know that we cannot have the agriculture there. But it's still, the, there is a lot of scientists they are working, the making the food from the air. Only agriculture cannot, based on the agriculture, food could not be survived. Then there is a thin year, so lean come with the, the thin year, year from the food concept. Then we also came back to, okay, there is some product, but how we can integrate that into the taste, into the flavor, into the color, into the ingredient that can be best fit into the current food in the earth so that we can feed. Then what happened, it is not only the Canada, even though in, in, in either you talk about the Canada or US, even though our, uh, our most of the market is in the US and then and predominantly we are everywhere in Canada, but mm -hmm. Mexico too and all the world. But the, what we did is, we did them the innovative solution, either ingredient, either building the color, either bringing the taste, either bringing the nut to the, make the, their cake not to break, or bringing the their special specific choice. You know what? I want to the, this food, but I don't want to the, this allergen. I want this food, but I don't want to this thing. Or you know what? I want to the, still have the one juice, but I want to build my immune. I want to need the something, but still I have the, some some sort of the typical problem. For example, my kids have the, something he cannot have the yeast in it, or my kids have the, something he needs some supplement or additive in it so that he can is struggling with a certain recovery. For those type of the innovation, actually, to be very honest with you, probably we are almost single sole Canadian player in Canada who are doing that job. And to, not only doing that, though, we are very, very well recognized by the government, not only government and all the stakeholders in Canada. And we are getting, and we are not succeed because alone with us, but the help of all these people, because we believe what we are doing is correct because we are getting the well appreciated. Yes. And um, you mentioned the alternate food that you make. Um, you have applied polyfunction to like vegetarian meat that is meatless meat or vegan cheese or cannabis less cannabis. So um, when you're creating all this custom food for people who can't eat certain type of food, like how is the meat and other food industry facing a dis disruption because of it? Okay, let's take it a different way then. Mm -hmm. I understand your question, but I am struggling with how to answer this because I'm listening to a question and I the answer came in my Nepalese language and I have to convert to Nepalese into the Indian one over in a minute. Let's let's say this way. The question of the the question of vegan food came not because 
we went to the big and test the because there is a shortage of the protein you know that the space of the earth is not enough for the after the certain time because the way the population is growing never stop growing 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 yeah. and one time just a five year or six year ago all is rambling what we're gonna do for the protein and then scientists start to look after the okay if there any way we can make the protein other than animal because if we the way we are eating the protein from the taking the protein from the animal then the number of animal you need to grow the earth will not be enough then where even i gonna sit yeah right and there is no we have not figured out there is another planet that we really can have the this much really so nice life yeah. and then what happened is once and we also be the part of the one equation and then we decided to that some of our friend went to the taking the uh, steam shell and then grow that in the laboratory and that is also been successful right and then they figure out that you know what uh, to to be the to eat the meat now no, you did not need to kill animal you can have the factory like that you have the biscuit factory or the bread factory all around the world even the cheaper in the in the same cost you are making the biscuit you can develop in the cost of bread you should be able to develop the wheat and then now that is almost successful and it is only the ethical ground review it in the, in the world but in the as a canadian player what you have to do is that if we develop something like the university way or the academic so called academic that has a, you know, we most it not that much value to the to the to us in the practical approach is that we need some practical we have to survive we have to earn the money and we should be in the market then what we do we take the fake meat for example the fake meat is the natural we take the all the natural ingredient and then you know what all the um, uh, earth has only the five element five element the, 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 in the five element everything is grown that is if you see the summary is of uh, from the just the, the source is all the five element uh, five element and the sun light and then only that different uh, plant has the different uh, different way to uh, modify the ingredient and make the green ingredient then what we figure out is that either you are plant or animal most of the chemical component you are sharing each other then what we figure out is that whatever you found in the chicken you can found in the chickpea too actually chickpea has the more component than the chicken then we figure out the how we can get the plant based um, the material that uh, only that ingredient in a very refined way naturally so that we can replace the chicken and then we get the uh, we uh, the protein is the we get the plant plant source protein and if you see the protein to protein animal and the plant level there is no different in structure that is the bland white test and then nothing in test that and then we build the color we build the test and the from the, the from the natural source and one we see the same profile that the chicken has or the mutton has in the protein that come from the uh, plant source that we will be able without compromising your test to develop the meat and the same thing is possible in the milk too and then just um, just in case of the milk probably we need the protein from the pea source chickpea source or the other other um, other pea source and here we can use the other source of the like the hemp and other source too this is only different way and then cannabis came is a different story what happened was once upon a time we realized that there is more than 20000 research was there on the road it has been proven that there is only two ingredients in the cannabis um, very important in the, out of the 300 highly medicated one is the thc and cbd the thc is one of the thing that give you some hallucination and because of the hallucination to ban it but now there is a the lot of the research and lot of the thing that is let uh, is current medicinal value does not treated cannabis and going to treat it and we were we are advocating that time to legalize the cannabis in in canada that time we have realized that if we don't have the can without the cannabis the most of the psychological and then the human uh, like the endocannabinoid system and your your mental mental related problem uh, mental related um, uh, rehabilitation of the health is not possible and then but that time cannabis is illegal and we cannot handle the cannabis itself because the handling the cannabis also illegal and that is why we develop the cannabis this cannabis we take the same way how we make the vegetarian chicken or vegan cheese we take the some ingredient available was the same ingredient that is available in the cannabis was and the cannabis source for example pine and for example other all the herbal and then what happened is we we do the same way we make the cannabis list cannabis that is there is no law to handle to block us and we did the r&d and then today what happened the day the cannabis become legal to canada from the next day we could succeed it to supply the ingredient they can put into the cannabis and we help the cannabis industry not to delay their r&d not to delay their product development even single day because before even they are ready to get the license and the ready 
to manufacture, we have all the innovative ingredients ready for them and we offer them. And then how we can be the best. And then the third, third part you told me is that the thin year, thin year part is a different story. Thin year part is that what if tomorrow something happened? Like now in the, right now we have the, some agriculture disturbance and then the union of the price of the union going to be increased three times in Canada within the month. Why? Because there is agriculture production is not enough. But what if globally, okay, right now what happened is California, you have the agriculture problem, but not in India. India have not in Mexico, Mexico. But what if we face the, all the trouble at the same time in all around the world? What is the option? That time again, scientists was that, you know what? There is the alternative, the way that the plant make the food from the ear, why not we can make the food from the ear? Then the solin come on the, on the ground and they, they, bring, they bring the already the food from the ear and they make the powder from the ear. That is like the egg powder that is perfectly complete and then even the better than the egg. And then what happened is alternative, the alternative of the agriculture and then again, come back to the solin. And the idea is that not only, then what that is gonna help is if tomorrow you, you, you are able to come to go to Mars or the moon or the, even the, you just for the cultivation, probably tomorrow you can hire the, some planet just for the agriculture cultivation, even the people is not there. And that opening the new avenue. And then what happened is, even though when you do in the one area, one area, but it can be helped in the other area. And that is why the, the, the innovation matter and how it work together, it, it interlinked. And if you see the very small, uh, to be to be uh, to be make the long story short, I can tell you very small way. If you go to the drilling company, one contractor do, it is exactly same thing. The what the dentist do the drilling in your teeth. The different is that they will use the metal, you will use the stainless steel. That that is big, you will be smaller. That is, they have the small measure, you have to be very accurate. That is that they, are, they don't care the how painful they are or teeth. You take care that it must be have the your your brain should not be uh, feel the pain at the same time. You you want to know what is going on. That is where the analysis come in. That is what happened is that you know what what you learn in the construction you can be apply in the health. What you learn in the health you can apply in the construction. What do you apply in the Doctor and health, you can apply in the aeronautical. That is what the, this work is very small and everything is applied everywhere. That is why when you work on one direction, you have to realize that it helps over the board. Yes. And then you can and make the. I'm sorry to cut you off. The We're very limited on time. So I just want to quickly also ask you, like very briefly, um, are there any red tapes in the food industry? If so, like what are the changes like you would like to see in the future or change in the food industry? Can you repeat me your question? Like, are there any red tapes? Are there any issues in the food industry? You have worked yes. in like over 25 yeah. years. So what are they and how would you like um, it to be addressed? Yeah, there is, there is a web says because in the, if, if you see the last 200 years, on the name of the science, we in the last last two hundred years is a very very important year for the humanity that we are we are able to develop so many things. Mm -hmm. But when you see your body, your body has a million and million of DNA, and that is come from there. And our body was adapted for the for the nature to the nature from the million and million years. But in the two hundred year, we did one. Of the, we we have made very drastic mistake that we try to make the everything synthesized. We, we try to put the people's brain in everywhere. And then if you see today, all the food, even the drive-through food and everywhere, you are seeing the, all the synthetic and the, all the people made hand modified product into the market. What they do is that it is not compatible enough for your body. That is what happening is the red tape of the, what the technology we learn in the 200 years is give us the new avenue to go to the new era. Give, give us the more uh, understanding of the thing that what we can do it and in the, we can be the more safer and we can be the more confident that our future will be jeopardized. But at the same time, we realize that we have to back to nature. That is why what you see in the food, food industry, medicinal industry is that now that all the medicinal industry, they realize that they have to be get rid of the petrochemical from their formulation because petrochemical is one of the culprit that is damaging to our all the food and the medicine not compatible with our body. At the same time, the food, we are trying to get rid of the petrochemical, all the synthetic stuff so that we are back to the natural so that we can be the, we can be the uh, more near to the natural, living the same way in the lifestyle, same way the way the thing. And then most importantly, the, spirituality has been introduced into the food so that our success is not the growth, our success is not the progress, our success is the success that has the humanity in it too. And that's great. And um, there, there are so many other things that we wanna know from you, but we are very limited on time. 
Um, yeah. But we thank you for being here and sharing so much knowledge to us. And on behalf of FCNCC, we thank you for your presence and taking out time today to meet and talk about your contribution and all you have done to food industry. Uh, we hope you continue doing it and we hope we can talk again and share so much of your knowledge. Thank you so much. I was afraid that, oh my God, how I can deal with you. You are the new generation, you are the old generation, <laughs> but a big time passed and at least I could uh, I could bear with you and then I passed successfully. Thank you so much. And no thank problem. You thank you so much for having, thank you so much for coming here. Thank, thank you. you so much. And to all of our audience, um, please uh, continue putting comments. If you have any questions that you would like us to answer, and um, we are live from CanadaCover.com. We will be back again next Sunday at 10 a.m. Thank you. Bye.